I'm sure you've all seen by now the new ChatGPT update which recently rolled out which offers a far better image generator than previous models. In today's video I'm going to show you how the new ChatGPT update can help you make print on demand designs. I'm going to show you how you can turn existing Sora generations into print on demand designs, how to use images as reference points, how to use conversational adjustments to the images that you generate as well as how you can use ChatGPT to create mockups for your print on demand store. So first I want to show you how you can take existing Sora generations and turn them into your own print on demand design. So if you've not been on Sora before, this is how it looks. Um, it's part of the same company as ChatGPT. So if you've got a ChatGPT account, you can use the same login and log into Sora. So Sora has got an explore page, an image page, a video page, as well as a search function. And what I like to do is just scroll through the explore page and click the like button on images that I like the look of so I can revisit them later. And to take an existing Sora generation and turn it into a print on demand design, what you want to do is click on it, click the remix button and put a clever uh, prompt in here and you'll get a print on demand design back. Now I've already generated three different examples so I can show you the kind of prompts that I'm using and what works. So uh, let me just present this. And I found this image, uh, it's two cats in a restaurant. And I put the prompt as convert this to a vector style image suitable for a poster design, add funny text that matches the image. Uh, you can also change the aspect ratio here. So it spat out this. Now, I don't really like this, to be honest, but uh, this vector style image could certainly be used as part of a different design, but the text doesn't really make sense. So what you can do, you can save this, you can vectorize it, and then you can edit it in Illustrator um, and turn it into your own design. Uh, you will also see there's a little artifact on the text here. So it's not the best at generating text, so I wouldn't recommend generating an image and then just sticking it on a print on demand design. You do sometimes need to edit it a bit further after you have saved it. So I went a bit further with this and I changed the prompt to convert this as an image suitable to use as a poster design, add funny text that matches the image. So I got rid of the cartoony vector style and it came out with this. Restaurant cats serving up perfection. Now I do quite like this, but again, it's not perfect. You can see the gap at the bottom is bigger than the gap at the top. But I do think you could definitely take this image, upscale it, um, add your own text, and it would be perfectly suitable to use for a print on demand design. Now moving on, I also found this image of a Mancun cat pouring milk onto a road. Uh, I used a similar style prompt. I said convert it to a vector image suitable for a t-shirt. Uh, I did poster up here, but I just wanted to see what the difference was. Uh, add funny text that matches the image again. So again, it put it into that cartoony vector style and it put the text mayhem with milk. Again, it's not really suitable to use for a design um, yet, but you can certainly save this, upscale it, do a bit of editing and it would be perfectly acceptable to use for a design. Again, I went one step further, got rid of the cartoony style, and I just said convert this image so it's suitable to use for a poster design, add funny text that matches the image, and it came out with this, catastrophe in Milky City. I do actually think that is quite funny, and the text, to be fair, is quite good on that one. So this image could certainly be upscaled and used on a poster for your print-on-demand store. Um, and then the final example I got I found this image of a happy dog with a glass of red wine and I changed the prompt. This time I said convert it to a vector style image suitable for a design on a mug, add funny text that matches the image and this time I asked it to make the background um, transparent and this is what it generated. So it again turned the dog into that cartoony vector effect on a transparent background and you can see the text here it says less thinking more wine so i do think that's a pretty good design and it is certainly something that could be used for your print on demand store um, again i decided to turn it into a poster I said convert this image into a poster design and add funny text that matches the image 
and this is what it generated less thinking more drinking now to be honest i do think that is a very good design to use for wall art so that is just a quick example of how you can take existing Sora generations, remix them with your own prompt and get graphics and ideas for your print on demand store. So now I want to show you just how you can use images as reference points. Now, I think the new chat GPT update does a very, very good job at this. Um, I have previously tried to use images as references in mid journey. And it does work quite well, but I think this new ChatGPT update does it better than Midjourney. So let me show you this, the examples that I've put together. So I found this t-shirt on Etsy. It's a frog with the text saying self-care. And the prompt I used was using this image as a reference. I like the text and the way the image is drawn. Could you change the text to relaxation and have the image as a cat looking in the mirror? doing its makeup, put it on a transparent background so that it's suitable to use on a t-shirt design. And this is the design it gave me. We've got the relaxation text and a cat doing the makeup. Now, it doesn't really make sense because the cat is doing the makeup of the cat in the mirror rather than its own makeup. But does it really have to make sense to work as a design? That's completely up to you but you can change the prompt and get this regenerated, no problem. But I think the way it generated it um, is very similar to the frog in terms of how the image is drawn and how the text is done. So I'm pretty happy with that generation. Um, moving on to my second example, I found this t-shirt with a raccoon and the text says, stay trashy. These uh, kind of designs are really popular on Etsy. I'm sure you've seen them. So I thought it would be a good one to use as a reference point. And the prompt I used for this was using this image as a reference, change the animal to a frog dressed up as a princess, keep the text the same, but change the font, um, put it on a transparent background so that it is suitable to use um, as a t-shirt design. And this is what it came out with. So we've got our frog dressed as a princess with the text saying stay trashy in a different font, but it is very similar. Uh, so again, I'm pretty happy with that generation. Moving on, this cat eating a bowl of noodles. I said, using this image as a reference, change the animal so it's a dinosaur eating a burger, add funny text that matches the image. And this is what it spat out. So again, as you can see, this dinosaur is drawn in a similar way to the cat and it's eating a burger instead of noodles, just like I asked it to. So yeah, that is just a very quick example of how you can use images as reference points in the new ChatGPT update. So I think all of these, to be honest, are very good and you can export them, upscale them and use them as part of your print on demand design. So now I want to show you how you can use conversational adjustments to change an image that you've generated with ChatGPT. So a lot of people think you need a brand new prompt and a brand new image if there's a mistake uh, with the generation, but you don't. So I'm going to show you now how you can just have a normal conversation with ChatGPT and make adjustments to a generation. So. I asked it to create me a vector style image of four cats sitting around a table, drinking coffee, add funny text to match the image. And this is, this is what it generated me. So I got four cats drinking coffee with a bit of text, but I wanted to change that to dogs. So I said, can you change it to dogs instead of cats? And it changed it to dogs and it also altered the text. So it was relevant to the image. Uh, I went one step further. And I said, actually, can you change it so it is beer instead of coffee? Put human heads on the dogs, but keep the dog's body. Make the humans smoke cigarettes as well and add some playing cards onto the table. Um, and this is what it generated me. So as you can see, we've now got four half humans, half dogs, drinking beer, smoking cigarettes with the text beer and buds. Uh, there's also some playing cards on the table like I asked for. So I'm not really sure where I'm going with this, to be honest. I'm just seeing um, how accurate ChatGPT is at changing images based on what I'm asking it. So again, I decided to go one step further. Um, 
I'm not really sure what possessed me to ask this, but I said, now make the facial ex expressions happy as if they've just taken loads of magic mushrooms. And this was ChatGPT's interpretation of what it like, what it looks like to be happy under the influence of magic mushrooms. So as we can see, the half human, half dog uh, species are now very happy. They've all got cigarettes, they've all got beer, they're having a fantastic time. But again, I went one step further. I said, make them even more happy and show evidence magic mushrooms were used. Perhaps have bags of mushrooms spilled out all over the floor. Can we also get rid of the table and make the characters appear as if they're sitting on grass? And then this is the new generation. So as you can see, we've got the beer, half humans, half dogs, cigarettes. We've got the grass and we've got evidence that they are under the influence of magic mushrooms because they're all over the floor. So yeah, this is what we started with and this is what we finished with. Like I say, um, I don't really know where I was going with this. I was just testing how effective ChatGPT was at changing images based on me just having a normal conversation, asking it to change things I wasn't quite happy with. And yeah, this is the final image. So you can certainly save this, uh, vectorize it, upscale it, make adjustments in Illustrator, Photoshop. You know, you can take the text out. You can just use the uh, graphic and add your own text. And I think, to be honest, that is a pretty good graphic. It's unique, that's for sure. And it could certainly be incorporated into your own print-on-demand design. So the final thing I'd like to show you is how you can use the new ChatGPT update to create mock-up images for your Etsy or your Shopify store. So as I said earlier, I did like this design of the happy dog with a glass of red wine. Um, so I asked ChatGPT, can you put this image in a mock-up in a cozy old pub? and this is what it generated. Now, I do think this mock-up is very good, to be honest, and I do think it definitely could work as part of an Etsy listing, but I decided to go one step further, and I said, can you have the mock-up in a distance above a table where a group of women are drinking wine? Keep it realistic, and in the 1980s style, the mood of the room needs to be dark and cozy, and this is what it generated. So we've got the group of women drinking wine, with the less thinking, more drinking uh, poster design in the background. Now, what I did find particularly funny about this generation is it kept the playing cards and the magic mushrooms from the beer and buds design. So yeah, that could have been, that could do with being regenerated, obviously, because the magic mushrooms don't really fit the aesthetic of this particular scene, but I just thought that was quite funny to leave in there. Um, so yeah, I do think ChatGPT is going to be really good for creating mock-ups for your Etsy store. Obviously, you do just need to play around with a prompt and make sure the uh, make sure the mock-up fits the aesthetic of the design and the aesthetic of your store. I do think a big problem with Etsy at the minute is everybody is using the same mock-ups, so everybody's listings do tend to just blur into one. So I do think this will be a really good way to kind of distinguish your store from somebody else's. So yeah, I hope you got some value from this video. Like I say, it was just a quick run through of the new ChatGPT update. Uh, I kind of just wanted to show you how it can be used um, in terms of print on demand. So yeah, we went over mockups, uh, conversational adjustments, how to use images as references as well as how to take existing Sora generations and turn them into print-on-demand designs. So yeah, like I say, I hope you found some value from this video. Let me know if you've tried the new ChatGPT update yet and if you've had any success with it. And I will see you in next week's video.